Hey son, I'm having a good time going with you, my sister, and the mayor of my anus. What about you? I'm having a good time too, mom. It almost makes me forget that this whole year we've been going through is an anus horribilis. I might not speak Latin like you do, but I know what you mean. Anyway, let's forget about the fact that this great country is going through a crappy year and that I can speak old Latin and let us have a good time. The mayor is here. And I don't think we should spoil it. I agree with you, Andrew. Even though the mayor of my anus, Clancy Higginbottom, is pretty tough to beat. As weird as things get in this town, you never know when he's gonna break out his Ouija board and unleash a spirit so he can cheat. Ha 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 ha! Great Scott. That just gave me the chills. Yeah, you never know when Mayor Higginbottom might unleash a scary logo on you too. Well folks, here we go with season 3. So, Deke, what brings you here on this lovely afternoon? Emotep. 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 Imhotep. Imhotep? What, in the name of Spain, is an Imhotep? I don't know, Andrew. But I think Deeks been drinking again. Imhotep. 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 Oh my god. It really is, Imhotep. Pharaoh Ramses IV's high priest. What is he doing, in the year 2020 AD? I don't know. But, this is a strange year after all. So I'm not surprised, that an ancient Egyptian mummy, has come back to life. Now, Deke, what did I tell you about waking up the dead? Do not wake up the dead. <laughs> but seriously, I was curious. I wanted to know what happened, if I did wake up the dead. I guess that Deep must think he's Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls or something. A knock soon the moon? What do you think I am? An Egyptian mistress? I am not a knock soon the moon, and I am not Cleopatra. My name is Janet, Janet Kid in bed. Whoa! Back up! There is no way I'm going anywhere with a 3,000 year old man who smells like rotten crude oil. Um, I learned how to speak ancient Egyptian when I was in high school. Dude, this has to be the worst pickup attempt I have ever seen on my mom. Especially, coming from a 3,000 year old mummy I just raised from the dead. Forget about it, Mr. Emotep. There is no way I'm associating myself with a culture that partakes in snake handling. <laughs> Holy 
holy heckaroonie. I just dumped a 3,000 year old mummy. And now, he's going to try to eat me. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here, Andrew. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't kidding. He seems serious. I'm right behind you, mum. I'm not gonna end up as a newspaper headline for being turned into a mummy just like him. Well, let this be a lesson to all you kiddos out there. Never wake up the dead. Especially if it's an ancient Egyptian priest who was mummified alive and was forced to suffer the home die. The worst of all ancient Egyptian curses. It pays to listen to chaos, but not to work here. We wish somebody'd pay us. Un freaking believable. I cannot believe we just survived an attack from a 3,000 year old mummy. Me neither, Andrew. But look at the bright side. At least you have one heck of a story to tell to your children and grandchildren someday. I doubt they'll believe me, but you're right, Mum. That is, if I get lucky and end up marrying Haley Deegan. <laughs> By the way, is it true, you can speak, ancient Egyptian? Yes, it is, Andrew. In a town where a lot of weird stuff happens, you have to be prepared. By the way, about Imhotep? Then the I that wait is hot. Now, go change your underwear.